So today I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what the job of a legal headhunter is, um, what it looks like um, day to day, um, how it actually works and try and give you a little bit more information um, about what it, what it actually feels like to do the job. So a headhunter is somebody who is proactively looking for candidates for a particular client. Um, now sometimes that will start with an instruction. So a uh, law firm has told the agency, the recruiter, they're looking for a particular type of candidate, associate, partner, whatever it might be. Um, and then the recruiter is going out and, and trying to headhunt somebody for that particular role. Um, sometimes it actually happens the other way around where you're actually headhunting proactively to try and build a network. Um, so you're uh, building up a, a database of candidates that you're talking to in the market who may be relevant for clients that you've got and you could then proactively take to a particular client base. Um, but ultimately what it comes down to is you've got to be prepared to pick up the phone, you've got to have a conversation with somebody who may well not be actually looking for a job, they're a passive candidate, they're not expecting a phone call, um, and you've got to pitch them an opportunity um, and at the very least pitch them the uh, premise of working with you. Um, and building up a, um, a relationship with you to go, to go forward. So a legal headhunter needs to be somebody who comes across as credible, professional, articulate. Um, typically they've got quite strong academic backgrounds, they've probably got some work experience, but also our clients quite like people who are quite sporty, um, they've got a competitive element to them, maybe they've done some mooting or debating in the past. Um, but probably more importantly is how you actually come across how all of that is, is presented and um, what, that, what I mean by that is um, uh, how driven you are, um, that you've got that sort of tenacity, that toughness to be able to do what is quite a tough job um, and those are the sort of character traits that are probably most important that will see you through and make sure that you're successful. So the typical day for a headhunter um, is going to be taken up with lots of different types of tasks. So it may be um, spent quite a lot of the time, probably a majority of the time, is, is contacting, um, headhunting new potential candidates. That's a big part of the job, and particularly when you first start, that's a big part of your, of your role. Um, but additionally, there are other things. So it may be that you're out actually meeting your candidates face to face. Uh, initially, that might be with somebody more senior to you, that you're sitting down with them, that you're talking to that candidate about their career, their aspirations, pitching opportunities to them. Um, also, you're likely to be out meeting clients. Um, so probably decision makers at law firms, trying to understand a bit about their firm, what their objectives are, what they're looking to achieve, what sort of hires they want to make. Um, so, you know, there's definitely a, a mixture of face-to-face -face elements in that. Um, beyond that, um, quite often when, when our clients put forward their candidates, they're putting forward quite detailed information. So there's a research element to the role too, where you've got to come up with fairly detailed uh, information about that candidate, why they're good, um, you know, particularly with lawyers who are looking at what sort of clients they work with, who the end client is, uh, what their following is like, what their billable hours might be like. Um, often you're actually helping them to present business plans as part of an interview process. Um, it also might be that you're involved in pitching clients to, um, to get retainers um, uh, and be instructed on particular searches. So there's quite a bit going on. Um, over, over and above that, there's, there's certainly a social side too. And you know, most of our clients, they get together, they have a drink together, and they'll go out for lunches, they'll do incentives, and you know, there's a certain amount of camaraderie and team spirit, social side as well. So if you're a legal headhunter, it can be quite a different experience to other sectors. Um, I think one of the big parts to that is that uh, Lawyers aren't particularly available, they're not that visible. You have to go and find them. Um, there are upsides to that and downsides to that. It means that it's tough and it means that there's no shortcut. So headhunting is the primary route um, to find those types of candidates. Um, but the upside is that lawyers are generally working as a third party themselves. They're used to 
representing one party in a, a particular situation. So they often do actually value the input of somebody coming from the outside. Um, uh, they, they don't move that often, they've got quite long notice periods, um, they work really long hours, uh, although often lawyers will start later than other people in the, in the city. Um, so it might be that it's more likely you're going to get hold of somebody in the morning than it would be um, during the, the, the main part of the day. Um, probably one of the major things is that uh, they don't really respond, they don't tend to respond to an aggressive sales pitch. It tends to be that they want uh, a pitch that's quite consultative, that's informed. You know, you've got to be somebody who's credible, you're offering relevant, up-to-date information about their sector. Um, so that's a hard thing to achieve and it takes time to get there. Um, but it's got to be a sort of value-based sell rather than just um, make as many calls as you can. So the progression in legal recruitment tends to be relatively similar. Um, you start as a researcher or trainee consultant, um, uh, often that's called associate consultant. Uh, generally for the first six months, maybe 12 months, uh, your job is headhunting. As soon as you get competent at that, you're likely to progress and become a consultant. Um, generally with that, you get a pay rise, you get a little bit more responsibility, more access to clients, and potentially you're actually given um, a part of the legal sector to focus on so that you've got a particular discipline within law, whether that's insolvency or real estate or uh, banking law, um, where you're actually focusing. Um, down the line, um, there's absolutely opportunities to progress into management positions. Um, others might want to go down more of a high biller route, who's somebody who's a big fee earner, um, but there's still often a uh, career path set out so that you can keep going, you can keep progressing. There are pay rises and um, uh, promotions available for, for everybody, whatever route you're going down. Um, and ultimately, becoming a director in a recruitment company or partner um, is often quite feasible um, in you know, five to 10 years time if you're really strong. For most legal recruiters, um, they'll start on a base salary plus commission. Typically, that would be around £25,000 if you're a graduate entry level, um, you're looking at that kind of role. It can be quite a lot higher if uh, you're coming from another sector or maybe if you're um, a qualified lawyer, you've got more sort of legal experience, but typically £25,000. Um, in your first year, obviously, you're earning commission based on uh, candidates and processes that you've been involved in. So if you find a candidate who's placed into a job, you like to get paid commission for that. So I would estimate that if you do a pretty decent job in your first year, you should be earning between 30 and 40,000 um, pounds. You're gonna get a load of other things as well, lots of support, lots of training. Uh, most of these companies will do um, incentives. They'll do lunch, lunch clubs or uh, they'll take you on trips. We've got clients who've been to Mexico, Miami, ski trips, all sorts of things, summer parties, winter parties, Christmas parties. Um, so there are lots of other sort of bells and whistles on top of um, your base salary and commission. Um, within two or three years, if you're really good, you'd expect that package to, to keep increasing um, year on year and as you get promoted, um, so that really good recruiters who are three or four years in will quite often be earning 80 or even in excess of £100,000 a year. I think the best part of being a legal headhunter is uh, it's going to depend a little bit on you. For some people it's about making money and that's that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, we're often told in recruitment that uh, as a potential candidate you shouldn't talk about wanting to help people. but. Somebody who's been doing the job for 15 plus years, um, I actually do really enjoy that, and um, you know, I like being uh, a trusted advisor. Um, I like having good relationships with my clients, with my candidates. Um, it's enjoyable placing somebody into a job who um, <clears throat> is really happy. They enjoy it, um, and they stay long term. Um, but you know, the benefits are um, varied, and, and it really it depends on what makes you tick, but there are lots of different things where you can get reward from, depending on um, what's important to you. The hardest thing about being a legal headhunter is headhunting. 
Ultimately, you've got to be really thick-skinned. You're going to have to pick up the phone, speak to people that you don't know, they don't know who you are, um, they're not expecting your phone call, they don't necessarily want your help. Um, so you've got to get your head around that quite quickly and you've got to be able to um, work hard and learn quite quickly and, and make sure that you've got something to, to offer. Um, so that is the hardest bit, the first six months when it's a little bit of a perfect storm. You don't have the knowledge or experience that you've still got to keep, keep making these phone calls. So, so that's really hard and a lot of the interview processes reflect that and they'll push you on things like tenacity. You know, are you somebody who gives up at the first hurdle? Um, are you somebody that just knuckles down and wants to learn? Um, but the caveat to that is that these, the, these environments are incredibly supportive. Um, the clients we work with, they expect once they've made uh, an investment in you that they're going to keep supporting you. You're going to have experts around you, basically cheerleaders who want you to do well, people who want you to be successful, who want you to bring in new candidates to the business. So if you need uh, to have a conversation with somebody senior before a phone call or um, you want to sit down and talk to people about different parts of the market or understand more about a law firm or listen to somebody else making phone calls, whatever it might be, they're there and they're happy to give you that support. So it is really hard, but all of the support is there um, and patience to give you time to, to be able to achieve what you want to. So legal recruitment firms are outwardly very professional, they're very corporate, and dealing with quite a corporate sector, all of their clients are going to be major international law firms. And you know, if you walk into their office, they're likely to be suited and booted. Um, but equally, it's quite likely that they won't have a tie on. They'll leave the jacket in the in the cupboard and they'll pick it up to go to a client meeting. Um, and really, that sort of um, represents the idea that. Internally, they're actually quite fun. They're not particularly corporate. Um, they are quite informal. Um, you know, somewhere where people are friends with their colleagues. It's quite collaborative. People get on. It is really sociable. Um, you know, everybody's goals are aligned. Everybody wants to be successful from the top top down. So um, they're generally really good fun places to work. They're normally quite young, quite vibrant. Um, lots of ambitious, like-minded people who want to do well. Thank you for listening. I hope that gave you a bit of insight into what it's actually like to do the job and, and what it takes to be successful. Um, if you're interested, you want more information, send us an email. You can send it directly to me, uh, david at mplsearch.com. Um, obviously, you can like and subscribe if you so choose. Um, have a look on our website, mplsearch.com. Um, but yeah, get in touch if you're keen to talk further.